our first presenter from the Faculty of Biology. Please welcome to the stage, Chad Simmons. Where do all great stories start? Well, in an enchanted forest, of course, a place full of mystery, incredible creatures, and inspiring stories of survival. Only this isn't the black forest of the Brothers Grimm. No, no. These are the woodlands in our backyards, the forests of Nova Scotia. And it's within these forests that lie three unique and incredible creatures that are the focus of my work. The first is rattlesnake plantain. She is a slow-growing, delicate, but robust fashion icon of the forest. And every few years, when the weather is fit, she adorns herself with a beautiful white flower. Quality over quantity is her motto. Our next character is Cancer Root, and his personality is just as ugly as he is. He is a pale-colored, pine-cone-looking beast, and although he is a plant, he does not photosynthesize. Instead, he steals all the nutrients he needs from the trees around him. And lastly, but not least, we have round hepatica, and she is a spring beauty if I've ever seen one. Every April, she honors us with her tiny purple flowers, but it isn't until later in the spring that her leaves start to grow, and she can actually be mistaken for a common clover. Ugh. So now, you're probably thinking, all of our characters seem completely different, right? I mean, look at them. Well, actually, they do have a fair bit in common. For one, they all like to grow within a forest, and unfortunately, they're all rare. This is pretty remarkable, considering these species are not unique to Nova Scotia. They are found throughout eastern North America. However, they are poorly researched, and even basic questions about their biology are unknown. Where can we find them? What is their habitat like? Are they going extinct? Right now, we don't have these answers, but fortunately, that's where my project comes in. My research is unearthing the details about where these species like to grow, what the environment's like, and what plant communities they like to grow with. It is the first to seriously investigate the habitat of our characters, and it's absolutely critical if we have any hope of protecting them into the future. So far in my preliminary results, we found something we completely didn't expect. These species don't seem to be particularly picky when it comes to where they grow. So naturally, this led us to our next question. So, why are you rare? Climate change, forestry, and invasive species are all common and increasing problems in the real world of our enchanted forests. I would say it's damn time we started getting ahead of these problems rather than playing catch up. My project will help us do just that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 